So like I want you to first realize how insane I, I'm aware that I look. Um, but when I've got my hair out of my face, it's when I do my foundation. So I just want to be, I just want to do it like I really do it. Because I don't, I don't like get all sexy with my hair and then do my foundation. For one, I'm a dumb shit and it always gets in my hair. Like my foundation is to be like slindulin all in my hair. So, so anyway, hey guys. Today I am going to talk to you about the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. This is, this is a new foundation that just came out and I am on a hunt for good foundations. I, I feel like I have been looking for the right foundation for, oh, years. I have a lot of foundations that I really like, but none that are like my favorite, favorite, favorite foundation. I do have a few that are like, I love the CoverGirl 3-in-1 and I love the Revlon Colorstay Whip Foundation. Um, but even the, like, the high-end foundations I bought, like they just suck ass. I have like 19 foundations in my drawer because I just want to find the perfect one that gives me a really good, flawless canvas. And I want it to just, I, I just, I, I, is it that hard? Like, is it that hard to find such a good foundation? And to me, yeah, shit yeah, I can't find one that I like. This, however, is good and I really like it. I've been using it for like the last five, six days. I've been wearing it every single day. When I try a new foundation, I like to give it I like to give it a shot. I like to try it on a hot day. I like to try it on a cool day. I like to try it with powder. I like to try it without powder. Because I want to know like how the foundation can hold up. And I'm going to do like a little demo of me putting it on, show you how I've been putting it on and show you the coverage that it can give because balling. I like it. I think the packaging is really good. I think the packaging looks cheap as shit. Like I think, I mean, this, I mean, it's really, Katy Perry was on the little poster thing for it and Katy Perry's flawless, but I'm not delusional. Delusional? I'm not delusional. I'm not delusional and I'm aware that this foundation won't turn me into Katy Perry, but maybe it'll make my skin a little better. First off, let me preface this by saying, zits. Can you see these zits? Like, can you see all these blemishes? There's so many behind my ear. That was from taking biotin. I was taking way too much biotin. Don't even get me started on biotin. I still take some. I still take two 300 microgram tablets a day, um, but I was taking 10 and it broke me out like a mofo. I also have been starting in the last maybe week or so to drink at least a liter and a half to three liters of water a day. What a difference that has made in my skin. I just want to tell you, if you have skin problems, if you have really bad blemishes, or if you have acne, or I'm not saying it's going to get rid of it, but all I'm saying is my skin feels a thousand times better. These were like cystic, horrible, and I do not get blemishes like this. Like my decolletage or whatever the fuck it's called normally looks fine, but I broke out like a mofo. So where was I going with this? I'm just gonna get started in the demo here. So this is, comes in a 30 mil size. I think it was like $6. They had it on sale because it's brand spanking new, so they always kind of have them cheaper in the beginning and then they like roll them out later with their expensive prices. This, um, it says here, one simple step for a flawless natural look that lasts all day. The formula blends easily to even skin tone and reduces shine all day. Oil free, won't clog pores, suitable for sensitive skin, lasts all day. I would have to agree. I'm not sponsored. I always like to say that because people, people get so pissed off at like sponsored reviews and I totally understand it because you don't want to buy something and someone's like, this is the best thing in the entire world. You buy it and you're like, you literally hyped this shithole product up for me. I don't like it. It sucks ass. And it was like 40 bucks. Like that's with me with the Tarte Amazonian clay foundation. Fuck that foundation, dude. It's not good. Like to me, <gasps> I hate it. Like I literally hate the foundation. I'm talking about the airbrush foundation. Everyone hyped it up like it was the best thing to ever grace the foundation world. I hate it. It literally sucks so much ass. Like it makes my skin look like I just put a layer of Mary Luminizer all over the top and I look like a shiny freak at the end of the day. It's not, it's just not good. Anyway, I'm not going to hype this up for you. I'm just going to show you the application and it wears really nice throughout the day. So it comes in like this squeezy tube and I was just like, I, to me, because the application is so easy, like I like to just squeeze it all over my face. Like, is this totally wrong? But I like to because, and I've been blending down my neck cause I'm like not into orange face and not blended neck. 
and I've been buffing it in with my Zoeva silk finish br bl brush, silk finish brush, and then patting over it with a damp beauty blender just to make sure that it's not cakey in places because everyone blends their foundation with a foundation brush and in my opinion, like why? Brushes suck. I don't, do you guys agree with me here? I mean, this is a soft brush, like it feels super nice, but to me, brushes leave brush marks all over your face no matter how soft they are. They kind of pick up the foundation instead of like, I don't know, maybe I'm totally wrong here, but like I'm a beauty blender girl for life and it's hard for me to want to use a brush when a beauty blender works so well. So lately I've just been using the brush to apply the product, get it all over my face. And then I've been using uh, the Beauty Blender, like I said, just to remove any excess cakiness because my nose gets cakey as shit. And tell me if your guys does too. It's like mad cakey. Like it looks like I like dried out little, Ugh, it just doesn't look good. So my cat, if you like see camera movement, if you see me move, going like this a million times, this case, he is rubbing all up on my shit right now. He just wants to snuggle. When he hears me talking, he thinks I'm talking to him, which is quite precious to be honest. But, but that, that was literally real time. It works so fast. Like that was maybe what, like one minute, maybe 40 seconds of me blending. And it looks really good. Don't look at my eyes. They look like a crackhead's eyes, but like, I blend down my neck a little bit just because I really like to have the same colored neck um, and I may not have done that good of a job because this is just a quick demo, but I, I'm obsessed with this foundation. It's really good. I have the color 105 Classic Ivory because I'm pale as shit right now. I've been bronzing myself a lot, so like I bronze down my neck, I bronze my contours because I really don't like to look pale during the spring summer time. Um, but I really like this and I'm not gonna do like an It's Judy time like foundation day like show you check-ins throughout the day because I've been wearing this for the last week and I think you could just take my word for it. I like it. And for like six or seven bucks or however much this was, like you really can't go wrong. Most of CoverGirl's products suck so many balls, but their foundations, they kind of get it done. Like I'm, I'm not lying, like <laughs> they're good. I mean, look at my face, like just look at my perfect face, right? I'm fucking perfect. I know, I know. So as you guys can see, this foundation, I've obviously done the rest of my makeup. I did my foundation and it's just flawless. It's perfect, it's dewy, at the same time being like a satiny finish. It doesn't cake up around my nose. It just looks so good. Like, here, I'll get you close up. So you guys can see like how the foundation looks. Um, it's not cakey around my nose. It's just like the perfect foundation. And it, you guys saw how fast it applied. It applied in like two seconds. So I highly recommend this foundation if you're gonna pick up something from the drugstore. I mean, I prefer it to the high-end foundations, like I said before. Uh, if you guys would like to subscribe, do it. If you don't, then don't. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if you guys wanna see things like this more often. Instagram, I update every single day. So if you guys wanna see like awesome makeup looks, makeup shorts, lots of plus. If you guys want to see makeup looks before I post them on YouTube or if you want to see something or request something that I've done via Instagram, you guys are welcome to go over there and just make your requests and I can respond a lot faster on Instagram because it's just like, at you, fucking yeah. <sighs> if you guys would like to see a tutorial on this makeup look, it will be up, already uploaded this last Monday. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video so you guys can go click and watch that if you'd like to. It is um, just an eye tutorial. I don't do like a full face because I did my foundation for this video and then this, so it's kind of getting confusing. But if you guys would like to go see this eye look here, then just go click that and it'll send you over to that tutorial. And like I said, if you guys have any video requests or tutorial requests, or if there's anything you're looking to see, post it in the comments of this video and um, I'll try to answer it as best I can or film a video or do whatever you guys want me to do. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon.